This girl is a goddess where hundreds of people come to give her money and worship her because they believe she can do miracles. And because she is seen as a goddess, she lives a unique life. She can't speak to anyone except her family. She can only eat certain food. And she's forced to live in a Kumari temple that she can only leave 13 times a year. And the crazy part is that her feet must not touch the ground. And she has to be carried around all the time. But turns out, becoming a goddess is not so easy. Because she had to spend the night alone in the dark, surrounded by sacrificed buffalo heads. This is the story of the Kumari goddess. We follow our culture. So I'm, we both are happy. Yeah. Like uh, Miss Universe, yeah. For hundreds of years, the people of Nepal believed that the female energy called Durga reincarnates in beautiful young girls. And one lucky girl will be chosen by the priest to become the next goddess. They call her Kumari. But it's not that easy to become a goddess because the next Kumari should have 32 physical characteristics that are almost impossible to have. She should have clear skin, long black hair, big black eyes, and many more. But the most difficult part is that she must prove that she's fearless. So she needs to spend a night in a dark room, full of sacrificed buffalo heads, without crying or showing any fear. Once she passes the test and is chosen to be the next goddess, she is then moved to live in a temple away from her family to fulfill her duties as a goddess. And now, only one thing can stop her from becoming a goddess. Puberty. Because to them, once she gets a period, she becomes impure and loses all her holy powers. And just like that, she goes from living life as a goddess to being the same as you and me. Oh, my feet were like trembling because <laughs> it was the first time I was putting my feet on the ground. So it was somehow very strange to me. This tradition has been going on for years. But some Nepalis protested against it. And human rights are trying to stop this tradition. That is undoubtedly against the rights of these, these little children. I mean, they're just four years old, five years old. I mean, I mean they, they, they've never been, they, they don't know anything about this. I mean, that leaves a huge mental scar that affects their life forever. Young girls should be given the power of choice in deciding how they want to live their lives. And regardless of any religion or belief, we should build a safer world so young girls can have a brighter future and make real miracles.